Hey, this is the <laughs> Scotch Test Dummies. What did cat got your tongue? What, are you going to say something in there or something? I didn't say nothing. You were like, what, you have a little acid reflux going on? You made a noise over there. That happens. Oh, well, we're going to be reviewing Kentucky Deluxe. <laughs> you did it again. You did it again. Kentucky Deluxe. This is like one of your favorite. It's. Is it a whiskey? This is the Let's Sweden of whiskey. Out. It's the Sweden of whiskey. Let's test it. Neutral. Test it! All right, Scott. What are we reviewing? Because first of all, I can tell you right now, in, in the future, that's safety glass right there. They also call it plastique. Teak. Look at that. This is great for an old guy. You know why? It ain't heavy. There ain't no heavy glass. You know who knows about that? Shagging Heavy D. Shagging Heavy D. You know why they call him Heavy D? Because he falls down a lot. What are you doing? You open it up like a clam shell. It's like a clam shell. God dang. You're just wrecking the show. You, sh what are you doing? Oh man. Uh, your mama gonna beat you when you drop them glasses now like that. What are you doing? I think it always gets me. We, what you need to do is just get one of them deals that duck in your pocket. Little glasses so you don't forget them. I don't think these are my glasses. I know. I've been used to seeing you in red glasses because you like the color red. <laughs> now, what do you think about it? It's safety glass. It's plastic. You can't drop that. Kentucky Deluxe. Now, this right. is top shelf whiskey. No, 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 no. I told you when, when the Social Security, which has been heavily borrowed against, is about to run out. That's why I got it. Because I was at the bottom end of the social security that month but it's still okay it's surprising yeah you, you know how much that costs and i believe i saved something because they use plastic instead of glass we'll talk about that in a little bit that's right i forgot about that that's we got a whole thing we do like a shtick you touching me again what, you, what did i tell you I can't even about feel, touching me i can't even feel my arm what are you talking about? Kentucky Deluxe. Are you not comfortable? Are you not this secure? This is a blended Kentucky whiskey. What does that even mean there? I don't know. Have we had? God dang. It doesn't even say bourbon on it. It just says whiskey. blended whiskey. That I don't know what that confusing. means. confusing. Have we had another Kentucky blended whiskey? No. We've had bourbon. Bourbon, last time I checked, is at least 51% corn. And if it's straight bourbon, it's gotta be two years old, which is like a child, like a baby. So this says Kentucky whiskey. You don't know what it means. I'm not gonna pour that much because I don't want to waste your good stuff. That is my backup. When the times are tight and I don't want to tap into the Old Grand Dad 114. 131. One, one. Wow. 131. One. Nothing else need be said. What do now you wait. think? We're capturing the odor. What? How many? What's ABV? Which means. 40. Dang. Bottom in. 40%. It's as low as it could get. Like me last Tuesday night. At nine o'clock, I missed the buffet for breakfast. See, I'm confused. I was going to say dinner, and I said breakfast. That's at how nine my p.m. Days go. Oh, well, I met. You shouldn't be eating I at met nine p.m. Supper. Anyway. I met supper. Even supper. The words no longer come out of the mouth like God intended, or whatever. Okay, here's some words that aren't intended. Say you clarify this for me you know, know everything made notes, huh? you know everything you know what i know i know enough to know that i L don't know nothing listen speak it 
Kentucky blended whiskey. Means it's in Kentucky. 20% Kentucky straight whiskey. That means like 20 out of 100. If you had 100 gallons, it'd be 20. 80% grain neutral spirits aged 36 months. 20% 20% Kentucky straight whiskey. Mm, it's not a straight bourbon. It's like an enigma wrapped up in a blanket. Kentucky straight whiskey. Nah, and 80% grain neutral spirits i don't know what that means you th you were saying earlier white dog i didn't know what you meant by white dog well, that's just the distilled you take the the mash and mm. you ferment it mm. and then you distill it what and about? before you put it in the barrel it's white Ooh, it's clear Lord. that what? sounds racist <laughs> <laughs> like you're anti white you saying white dog means it's not aged in a barrel. Right. Oh, okay, never mind. I got confused. But it's grain neutral. That means it's like Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's one I one. see what you did that year. World War II. <laughs> like a World War II joke. Woo. A lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was like a long time ago. Long. But it is neutral, no matter what. So it's 20% Kentucky straight whiskey, 80% grain neutral spirits, right. aged 36 months. Right. So safety, safety first. So you're right, 80% of that is some kind of cheap grain that's not aged. The confusing part to me on this is the 20% that is Kentucky whiskey. I don't know what that means. Kentucky straight whiskey. Straight. I mean straight, does that mean it's two years or something? Because if it was bourbon, it'd mean it was two years, 51% corn and a bunch of other stuff and then it didn't do. But when you say Kentucky whiskey straight, I don't know what I mean. It's very confusing. But I didn't buy it for what's written on the bottle. It was light and easy to pick up. You know what it smelled like? What does it smell? Old Granddad 114. No, it does not. Cinnamon. And alcohol. I don't know if the coins help it on this one, bro. I'm not gonna, it's not captured. Although, you know what? Long time ago, somebody said that the alcohol is heavier than the air and that it doesn't contain the alcohol. Mm. What? You read that in the comments. The alcohol is stronger it's than strong, air it's heavier, and it doesn't contain the stronger, air. Heavier. So that putting the It doesn't on, contain the alcohol. That's what they were said. saying the alcohol nose doesn't come out. And luckily, you know who told him some old Lewis? Lewis came on and said, well, you're not trying to smell the alcohol. You're trying to smell the other things that are heavier than, or lighter than the alcohol. I think that was Keith. Maybe it was Lewis. Lewis came in and had a great comment, but we can talk about that later. You don't even remember the names of your kids. There's a lot of reasons for that. Jimmy. All right, I'm, ah. I'm going in for a taste on the Kentucky Delight. Well, hold on. While you're doing that, I'm going to say I get sweet grain on the nose. A little bit of alcohol burn, which is surprising for 40%. Oh, that'll wake you up in the morning. This is like a breakfast whiskey. What do you got? All right. I'm taking a page from your book. Mm, there's a good book. There's a hint of whiskey <laughs> in there. <laughs> when I said that, that was classic. No, that was, you remember that? Timeless. That was good, that was good. It was, like, it was back in 2012. <laughs> Quit getting on me. Ow. My gout's acting up. Hmm. I'm gonna be bruised now. You took that too far. I thought you were gonna throat punch me. It was preemptive strike. There's a hint of whiskey in here and some cinnamon splashed in there with it. Hmm. Here's what I get on here. First of all, I'm a little shocked. A lot softer than I expected. I thought it was gonna be harsh. Now it could be my old palate just ain't what it used to be. But what I'm telling you is that neutral grain spirits are smooth and they do not have a lot of rough edges to them. Do you know of what I speak? Vanilla cream. 
Yeah. I also have... I know you was talking. I was, I was I ignoring love, you. When you say vanilla cream, I dig it. But I also get a yeast. It's like a grainy yeast flavor that comes through. Hold on. My, my, hold on. I got to adjust the volume of the hearing aid. It was ringing. It was ringing. Mm. So, what I can tell you, first of all, as I thought this would be harsh and in your face. It is not in your face, but it has very little character. What say you? Did I say there's a hint of whiskey? Yes. Thank you for that bottle, too, last week. What are you talking about? What are you talking about on that? What do you mean we're talking about Kentucky Deluxe? Thanks. What are you talking? That bottle. That was a good bottle I gave you. That's right. Top of the line. You need to get me back sometime. Now hold on now, I gotta say though, because it says Deluxe, does that improve the flavor? Deluxe. I don't know if you can get more Deluxe than this right here. I also noticed they don't use a cork. They've gone no. because plastic is better. But the Japanese, hold on. I'm, I think they're taking a page from the Japanese. No. Because, look at that. Okay, I'm going to come back. They don't have any kind of, even a plastic seal on there. They do have, no matter how old I get, I still find that completely disgusting and inappropriate. It is not proper to burp out loud as you did. I do not like it. Who burp? Wait, I don't even know. But... It does have a helpful pouring device so that it chug a lugs properly. Hmm. You know what I'm talking about? But there ain't nothing on there even Whatever like that's made Japanese. so you can just drink right from the bottle. <laughs> it is possible. Don't do it. Oh, God almighty. Hold on. Is it better? Nah, it's the same. See, but I ain't. You could carry that like to the park with you. Or the park bench. You could just sit on a park bench and feed the pigeons. You know what? That sounds like a fun activity. I'm going to agree with you. It does swig cleanly from the bottle. And you cannot drop it and break it. You could put this in your pocket if you had a big pocket. If you had a big oversized pocket, this would fit in said pocket. Oh, he's bringing back the plus minus. My friend, I'm going to join you for the first time in the history of the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm going to score this a 68 with a plus or minus six, depending on what day of the month it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That That's is what I'm talking about. Talking about because right there. if you ain't got $10 and you can't buy Heaven Hill, you can get this and this will carry you through to now, wait a minute. first of the you're month. You're gonna sit there, look at me in the eye and you're gonna tell me Heaven Hill, bottled in bond, six year Kentucky straight whiskey is ten dollars. And $10 this here, this here plastic bottle of Kentucky Ooh. Deluxe is what? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. They save some money with going with the plastic. Hmm. But if you ain't got the ten ninety nine for the Heaven Hill, which is a good is it bottle in bond? Mm-hmm. God. Dang, how do they do that? Four years though. That would be the go-to, but if you ain't got the change, you can't scratch it up. You can't dig in the couch. You can get this if it's 
the latter part of the month. And All I'm saying, want to feed pigeon. All right, look. What do you say? It's just the electricity bill, okay? It can wait. No. I got thin skin. You got to get I'm a good the, whiskey. I can't. Some days, if it's cold out, I, I'm just not sure I could taste it. And then, when that runs out, then you just you start on the internet bill. What? You go from the electricity bill to the internet bill, as long as you get the good whiskey. Did I tell you some of these young kids got like a phone inside them? They just tap stuff and they can talk. It looks like everybody's crazy in the year 2027. Is that right or is it 37? Oh my God, I thought you were gonna punch me. <laughs> You're so fuzzy in these glasses. Are these mine? Liz, I thought I was coming home. <laughs> you laid a hand on me. That was not one. Well, you ain't never been so fresh. Is it worth it? I actually would say it's worth $7.99. Mm -mm. You don't think it is? No. If it's the last day of the month and you ain't got a, two pennies to rub them together. Well, then you, you ain't got seven ninety nine. I thought it'd be worse. I thought that it is true. would be worse. It's still not good. I would not claim it's good. I would say it is worth seven ninety nine. You, There's coffee, okay. there's right. coffee you right. can't buy for seven ninety nine. You convinced me. It's worth it. I'll change my ways. Yeah. It's worth seven ninety nine. If if someone said, Hey I'd say it's worth seven ninety eight. Yeah. If someone said, Hey, Not you, you gotta bring something for the punch. I could bring that right there. I could bring it. And I could put it in the punch and they wouldn't know. Mm. Cause you ain't putting good stuff in the punch. That's true. It's worth it. If you gotta spike somebody's punch at an estate sale or something, bring in the Kentucky Deluxe. They got punch at an estate sale. You ain't been going to the same estate sales I'm Apparently going not. to. You're going to them lowbrow estate sales. Good. I think you're confusing wedding receptions no, for estate no. sales. You spike the punch at an estate sale, people start paying double. I was wondering where you got that garter yeah. belt from. I love that. That holds up the pants. <laughs> Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Slaughter, dummies. Get your coin. Get your. Stuff.